The Illini had two weeks to prepare for today. Their last game was September 21st, first, that four-point loss to Nebraska, a game in which the Illini allowed nearly 700 yards of total offense. Did they learn anything? Putting it to the test this afternoon in the land of 10,000 lakes, Illini and Minnesota. Things start off well for the Illini defensively. Dele Harding comes through with the interception, runs it in for the pick six to give Illinois an early lead, seven to nothing, orange and blue. But then it's Minnesota that takes the lead. Tanner Morgan to Tyler Johnson for the touchdown to put them ahead. Johnson actually tipped this ball to himself, 10 to seven, Minnesota. They continue to extend their lead. This time, the rushing attack. Shannon Brooks gets another one on the board for the Gophers, 16 to seven, Minnesota. Then Illini QB Brandon Peters leaves the game due to injury. So it's up to Matt Robinson to lead the offense. He finds Donnie Navarro downfield for a first down. That puts them in field goal range just before halftime. James McCourt clears the 46-yarder after missing the first attempt. But P.J. Fleck called timeout, so he got a second shot at it. 16-10, to 10, Minnesota at the half. Coming out of the break, Gophers quick to respond. Morgan hits Chris Altman-Bell in the end zone. One of their two touchdowns to start the second half, 30-10 to 10, Minnesota. The Illini trying to stay in it. Morgan fumbles the ball. Recovered by Milo Eifler. Another touchdown from the Illini defense, 30 to 17. We had a ball game, but the Illini can't stop the Gophers, who put up nearly 500 yards. Rodney Smith runs it in, 37 17, and they add one more field goal to make it 40 to 17 the final. Illinois drops their third game in a row, now 2 and 3 on the season, 0 oh 2 in the Big Ten. Marley Weirdo was on the sideline. She details what went wrong for the Illini. After a big hit in the first half, Brandon Peters left the field and did not return. Matt Robinson had the chance to turn the tables for the Illini in what they called a crossroads game. But the result was more offensive struggles for the Illini, who put up just 248 yards against the Gophers. I think everyone just needs to clean up doing their job and make sure everyone's on the same page. We had some, you know, some uh, some missed assignments and we just got to be make sure we're locked in. You know, normally when your starter goes down, it puts most team in a hole. And we were today. The defense didn't perform either. Several missed tackles allowed the Gophers to put up 40 points. The only positives were the Illini's two touchdowns of the game, both scored by defensive players. It's just the emphasis of actually being where you're supposed to be and stuff like that. Just the little things that that gives the, uh, the opposing offense, you know, the run game that they had, even though it shouldn't have been like that at all. I don't think I've ever been where we lost a game where we scored a couple of defensive touchdowns, but it's a lot more than that. There'll be breaks uh, in every game, but you can't let them go the distance. The big plays are what's killing us on the defensive side of the football. So far, there has been no update on Brandon Peters' injury. Trayvon Sidney also hopped off the field in what appeared to be an ankle injury, so the Illini could have to rely on others to get the job done when they return home to face Michigan next week. Reporting for your Illini Nation in Minneapolis, Marley Weirda, WCIA 3 Sports.